good for spool. <gasps> so this is it, he's real happy. Yeah, like you're him. talking like like this. Okay. Hello, my name is Bruce. Wait, we you haven't haircut synced yet. You're losing all of this. Yeah. I got a haircut. <laughs> the person who cut my hair knew what Ruby was. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, I was like, yeah, I work for a channel called Funhouse, and she goes, I've heard of that. Weird. No, she hasn't. She's heard of funny. She, knew, heard of she knew Rooster Teeth. She knew Rooster Teeth. And she knew Ruby. James, I, I said, "Oh yeah, I'm James Williams." And she Williams. Did. <laughs> James Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you may have heard of me. My name is Jamie Williams. <laughs> Joel, we need you. Holy shit! YouTube Red, and they're gonna distribute all the money evenly. What? YouTube is communist. It's the, that's what it makes. That's why it's called YouTube Red. Yeah, that's why it's called. By the way, Joel thinks it's, this is really cute. Wait, yes, clap. clap. None of this is usable because Lawrence is playing with his mic. Well, that's it's, all usable. It's fine. Don't clap. Don't clap. Fucking shit. No, what we haven't happened? clapped yet, but it's all being recorded. Well, it's fine. I, I understand Fuck that you can go back. Record like this. Right. No, I understand. Do you? Because <laughs> you just said we were gonna lose all of this if we don't clap. Sing. Well, if you'll excuse me for a moment. <laughs> fine. You guys, there's oh, no way to rewind. All open houses happen if, like, I'm cutting it. It's real time. And it's real time edits, which means that I have to make the photoshops before we move on to the next part. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't use them. It's impossible. It's really tough. Every single week is a, it's a challenge. It's a sprint and a marathon. Sorry. I can't wait till a Adam gets back. Marathon. He doesn't make fun of me ever. <laughs> Don't everyone, everyone thinks that you and Adam hate each other. I know. Let's start the show. I agree with Joel. You guys are goofing around way too much. Sorry, Lawrence. First question from Weebo Mary Hopto. Where in the world would you hide Carmen San Diego? In Bruce's butt. Nice. Nice job. I said it first. Nice job, Spool. That's kind of close. I would try. I would probably hide her either in San Diego because <laughs> no one would ever look, <laughs> true. Um, or in my pants. Ooh. She's kind of cute. Is she hot? Is Carmen San Diego hot? Oh, yeah, she's absolutely. You better believe she's But hot. is she small enough? She's to smoking. Your really? Look it up right now. Look up Carmen San Diego. Oh wow, there's a picture right there. Look at the that. Top right. the, oh, oh man. Are you looking at Rule 34? No, it just Where? Uh, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> she has a style that's all her own. Yeah, I admire that. So uh, next question, James. Uh, Wall Smither. Uh, did you guys have any comedy idols growing up that influenced your current comedic style? Um, my yeah, comedy idol uh, was Joseph Goebbels. Oh, very funny. A very funny the man. Very mass funny murder. movies. I could, I could not laugh because Joel, the look that Joel gave me. <laughs> it's like someone so kicked confused. him in the nuts, but slowly, and we were watching his face transition from being normal to being kicked in the nuts. I've told you over and over, Joel, that I'm Jewish. I can make these jokes. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the Pocahontas in there. I, there's a little Pocahontas, a little Jewish, and a lot of like Irish and Dutch. What were your comedic influences, uh, Joseph Goebbels? <laughs> I mean, Joel Rubin. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I, I, you know, I enjoyed a good chuckle uh, every now and then as a kid. Can I you like just say who it was. Uh, I like Dennis the Menace. <laughs> oh, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> <It's> animated. <laughs> it's like an it It's not even no, funny. I like Mel Brooks uh, okay, as a go. kid. I like Monty Python a lot. I like Animaniacs a ton. Uh, Who does? Uh, yeah, those were all good. But things. The, did those influence your comedy? Because you're not like any of those. Yeah, here's the th problem, Joel. You're not zany to the max. <laughs> <laughs> do I write musical parodies all the time? That's, you do. That's true. Yeah, I, so fuck you. That's a good point. Hey guys, if Dennis the Menace were black, he would have been shot. All right. <laughs> wow, Walking down the street with a weapon. slingshot in his all pocket. Lawrence, what about you? I'm not funny, so I don't know. I uh, I watched a lot of Star Trek. Ha 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 ha! Funny show! Okay. Right, I wanna know, hold on, the most important answer is always Matt Peak. So Matt Peak, <laughs> who makes you laugh the most and who do you wanna be like? That's not the question at all. <laughs> 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 Alright, fine Matt! Read the question and then answer it! I don't need to read it, we already read it, but the answer is no. I don't think I have much of a comedic style, oh, but stop it. I grew up, I liked Steve Martin and Martin Short and Ooh, guys like that. All very good. Animaniacs yeah. is good too, Joel. Oh, I'm going to carry your daughter's wedding! Oh boy, <laughs> that was good. We yeah. go. What's the what's a breakfast at Tiffany's? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Rooney. Rooney. <laughs> He's my comedic influence. <laughs> Kraken. If you could add Tom Clancy to any game title, e.g., Tom Clancy's Extreme Bleach Volleyball. Nice. <laughs> what would it be, and how would the content of the game change? Mm. Tom Clancy's Tampon Run. That's, is that a game? Yeah, it is a game. That is, that is it a is a game. game. We learned that. Absolutely. Yeah, Tom Clancy has to go. His wife is super pissed, and he's like, oh, fuck me. All right, fine. I'll get whatever you want. And he, he goes outside, gets in his car, drives to the store, gets in a car wreck, and dies. Okay. 
Uh, mine would be Tom Clancy's Surgeon Simulator, except you're trying to revive Tom Clancy. Oh, oh that's the sequel to Tampon Run. Oh, it, you no, always fail. Mine is Tom Clancy's uh, Shower with Dad Simulator, but it's actually an old Tom Clancy, and his dad is even like super, super old. Oh. So you get a lot of old man bowls. Old man bowls. So it's Dad and Granddad Shower Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Clancy's gone home. It's just Tom Clancy. On, sitting on a cloud, smiling and waving at all the living people. <laughs> What's that lesbian game? Has it gone home? Yeah. Tom Clancy's gone home. That's what he just said. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> I'm in the room. Pompous Sheep asks, This is for Peak. If you could start your own show, like Spool's Dollar an Hour, what would it be? Matt Peak. It's a great question. Mm, maybe something like the Achievement Mop. And for me and Lawrence, Mop Up Achievements we don't have yet. Fuck yeah. Oh. Mop Up Achievements. Wait, why do you call so it Mop Up? I don't know. It's like, yeah, I, I guess I have a couple games. You think that you're are... so good at this game? Are you no, a no, 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 no. Well, I was you could, say, you just get so many achievements, and then Lawrence ejaculates all over himself because you, you, it up. you could call Clean it me up, Matt. And then Come on, Matt you has could call to call it, it up. Achievement Hunters. It's nice. Like, That's a good name for it. Come on, I can't man. we're missing the talent show. Oh, we gotta hurry this, up and wrap this up. This open house up. This, it's is not going the, this is the untalent show. My talent can be getting achievement points. Lauren, read the next question. People just sit turn. there and watch me. T Liger uh, asks In a 1v1 arm wrestle tournament between Funhouse and Achievement Hunter, who would you pit against whom and would Funhouse win? Oh, boy. Seriously, pound for pound, Funhouse is stronger than Achievement well, Hunter. Well, that's no yeah. doubt. I think I, everybody already knew that. Yeah. No doubt. Okay. I'm probably the wait Spool. You and I look at look at Spool goal. Spool goes to the gym. I know, Spool but, goes to the gym. But I did arm wrestle Spool a couple weeks ago and I beat him, which Ooh. was surprising. That's because you're better than me. Hold on, wait. That's not legit because I was not present. <laughs> Let's for that. do it, Spool. All right. And it was arm wrestle. It was arm wrestle. Spool. Arm the angle wrestle. was like this. Oh, the angle. Yeah. Oh, it's an angle. Oh, okay. Oh, a card table, too. We don't need a card table. We're using the stool. I'm still gonna lay this. I'll hold it. Okay. I'll hold it. So you, you guys watch out here. All right. You good? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. When I pull my hands away, you go. Yeah. Ready? Da -da! Oh my gosh! Look at him go! It's a dead heat! It's a dead heat! Look at him! It's a dead heat! Look at him! Look at him! Oh, it's a dead heat! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! That was an endurance match. All right, other arms, let's go. We're good here, Bruce. We're good. Card table, Bruce. We're good. We're good. Card table. All right. Shit. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, Spool's gonna win. Got that? Spool's gonna win. No, 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 Good game. Jesus. So, something, something. <laughs> Achievement Hunter. Something, something. Third arm! Whatever, we're I think, stronger. Yeah, <laughs> we're stronger. Jizzy Fairy. Jizz Fairy. <laughs> Jizz Fairy. Y'all eat ass? <laughs> <laughs> that's two points. Uh, my answer is no. Uh, it depends on the ass. Okay. Oh, that's a good answer, Joel. Joel. No. Sure. <laughs> I've had a good rump roast before. Lawrence? Not yet. <laughs> He's waiting. Matt yeah. Peak? No. <laughs> I'm just not ruling anything out, is yeah. what I'm saying. You know. It's a long, it's a long life. I don't want to go without all experience. They mean lick the anus, right? Yes, lick the anus. Oh, <laughs> then no. <laughs> uh, last question from Not So Fun House. If Fun House were to direct Jurassic World 2, how would they make it a successful follow up film, James? Not make it. Mm. Because um, James loved Jurassic World. I loved he it. He was a huge, was a fan, huge of it. fan of it. Uh, he, he actually really loves Colin Trevorrow. There, the there was a director. point where I was watching it and I, I completely forgot I was James Willems and I just thought I was there in that world. Um, I probably wouldn't make it. I would not make it. Why? That's, because that's wait, hold on. It made like one point nine billion dollars. Yeah, what? that's enough for at least two movies to make. More. So now we can count ourselves good for two, and let's move on. More raptors? I really think I could. <laughs> People I think like raptors. Like Put wings on it. Yeah, like make a monster with wings. Well you, uh, you, you have to strengthen your arm, and then yeah, but give me like a week. I think I can do it. You gotta and start then, lifting heavy. And then the monster, the wing monster, he flies off the island. And he goes to San Diego, and they chase him around in a car. That's and you get Jeff Goldblum back. And you call it Car in San Diego. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. 
Joel, that was good, but I feel sick to my stomach. That actually was <laughs> really, really good. Uh, <laughs> stop recording. Woo. I yes. would, I would finally get one of those VR headsets, and I would play some kind of anime porn game until I died of starvation. Oh, yeah. Would you have the pistol? How ironic! Would you have the pistol? <laughs> Damn you, Death! You found me! <laughs> you know what would be better is if the piston pounder fucked you into oblivion. Yeah, I know, it shatters my pelvis. Oh, but I can't feel Your it. Your apartment so gets struck stimulant. by lightning and it overcharges the device. Uh, <laughs> I love it too much! Um, I love it too much! <laughs> <laughs>